In this video, I'm going to show you what I believe to be one of the most underrated passing concepts out of the trips tight end formation man 23 this concept will be able to attack man coverage well it will be able to attack zone coverage well and it will also space the field extremely extremely effectively now if you want to get my entire trips tight end offensive ebook make sure that you join the patreon it's only ten dollars to become a member and i just updated the trips tight end offensive ebook uh last week so we have some brand new passing concepts in there and uh this is one that i actually just found that i think is really really nice to share with you guys so again if you want to get the entire ebook make sure that you join the patreon i'm in the lions playbook today but in our ebook we actually cover both the lions playbook as well as the patriots playbook um, both of them are actually fairly similar but the lions playbook uh really i'm just in this uh but again you could do this out of either this play is found in both pats and lions playbook and what we're going to show you is to play pa slot corner um i think pa slot corner is one of the most versatile passing plays this year and i want to show you one of my favorite setups right now so what we're going to do is we are going to drag our inside trips receiver. We're going to in route our left side or our outside trips receiver. And then we're gonna streak our tight end. Very simple play. But what we're gonna utilize is really this key route to Julian Edelman. And what you're gonna notice is we're gonna motion snap him and we're gonna snap the ball right behind that middle trips receiver. And what you'll see is he'll kind of create, get a little speed burst and you can kind of throw this up and over the top into a soft spot specifically against man coverage it's actually really really hard to use her and another thing that you can do if you want to is you can actually create a backside dig um if you want to smart route that backside in route so you see here this is going to create kind of again a similar type concept to the play pa read out a bunch but as you can see that drag route um oftentimes people think that's going to be a slant and so they're going to maybe utilize a maybe user that route there's a lot of different things that people are going to do to try to slow down this receiver and what this does and you can actually smart route this route if you wanted to run a little bit deeper here but what you'll see is this post route really kind of again off of motion snap it gets that nice little wraparound animation and you can just see how effective this is now really quickly i want to show you what else you can do with this if you have the slot apprentice or the hot route master ability you can go ahead and actually create a slot apprentice post as well and what this does is it's going to just give it a little bit of a sharper cut and again, you're going to be able to throw this ball over in this area about 25 yards down the field. Now, the tight end is going to serve as your clear out route. So let's say, for example, that you're facing some type of cover three style coverage uh, with this play. What you're going to be able to do is this motion in post against zone is going to get in the soft spot. And you'll see here it's going to serve as almost like a crossing route, as you can see, against that cover three style coverage. Now, another coverage that a lot of people like to run against trips tied in this year is some variation of this cover four. It can be, there could be some adjustments, but typically what you're gonna get is some type of rolled uh, coverage. Maybe you get like a little cross man. Um, you know, you can kind of, it, again, it kind of varies, right? But the beauty of this motion snapped uh, post is it delays the route a little bit. So you're reading your drag, then you go to your post and notice that that outside quarter is not going to guard that um, that that post route from the slot. Now let's go to another play here real quick. We're just gonna set it up for you. This is PA counter go. This has been one of the best plays out of trip side in for years, but one of the best and easiest and simplest ways to stop this play is basically baseline press cover four. And what'll happen is this crosser will literally run into the outside quarter, as you can see right there. So the beauty of this PA slot corner and this beauty of, uh, of the same side motion snap, it really gives us some versatility because now what you're gonna see again, we're gonna baseline press, we shade underneath to stop this. Now their user will typically take the post and then you can check down um, to your in route but oftentimes they'll drop off that post and then you'll see here we can actually throw this before it gets to that zone just like that right there this is one of my new favorite plays um, in the entire game now what you'll also see a lot is people will start to double flat this is becoming extremely popular uh, right now we're seeing a lot of double Mabel style coverages and that basically means the user is going to be in the middle of the field 
what you'll see with this play is you can throw these routes. There's a lot of windows with this concept. So what you'll see here is the drags taken, yes, but I can throw that post right in that little pocket there. And then I also have that backside dig. In this year's game, you literally can't use her. Uh, you can't use her both of those routes. You just can't use her both of those routes. And so this gives us um, kind of just, a, again, a better, I think it's just a really good version of, you know, quasi similar to be a kind of go. But the beauty of this is found in this motion snap right here, because when you motion this guy in, he's going to typically get off the jam and he's going to get fairly decent separation for you against man coverage, especially, especially if you have the short out elite uh, ability. If you want to leave your tight end on this corner route, like for example, against man coverage, this tight end could be a read for you. This route is gonna, you see how they're gonna kind of space the field fairly decently together. You can leave him on the on the, on the the corner route. So I'll show you how that works against like a cover three or a cover four style zone. So the zone will play the tight end route, right? But the beauty of this play because of the motion snap is it's gonna delay. And then now you can throw this ball in this little window as a high point before he gets and really into a soft spot. So this this play is really, really, really powerful. Uh, again, just in route the backside receiver and then drag this guy. You can literally run it just like this right here with the motion snap and snap the ball. You know, you can kind of experiment a little bit with like where's the best place to snap him. I have found from what I have found with this play, uh, again, and your progressions, you're looking at your tight end, then you're looking at your drag, then you're looking at your post and backside dig. What I have found in terms of snapping this play is it works best if I snap the ball like about right here. So just a couple steps in. I don't want him to run into that middle trips receiver. And you see there the tight end actually destroyed his, his man as well. So this is becoming one of my personal favorite concepts right now uh, because of how simple it is to run. And also a lot of the matching principles and a lot of the strategies people are going to use uh, to try to combat trips tight end, this play really counters it really, really, really well. Um, and then one last little pro tip that you can do if you want to is you can slant this. You can still slant this middle trips receiver. So if I want to slant this middle trips receiver, that's fine. Or you could put him on like a little five yard baby in route. But you see how that backside dig is also coming backside as well. So again, you want your routes to be properly spaced. This is also why there's some value in smart routing that in and then maybe doing something like this. I think this is such a simple play but it's, it's really effective. It's really hard to user it, and um, the tight end kind of completes it by giving you some versatility, whether through man, if you want to leave him on the streak, or if you want to run him on a corner where he can actually attack man coverage and zone coverage. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Trips Tight End Offensive eBook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for the Patreon is going to be down in the description. $10 will get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.